Manera, to Dred. Hi, my name is Joey, and I've been working in Cape Verde for three years now for Tui. And this is my good friend, Ramiro. Local born and bred in Thail Island. Let us show you around. Bemanos. The Cape Verdean Islands are located to the northwest coast of Africa. It's just off the Senegalese coastline. There are 10 islands altogether, out of which one is south. A direct flight from the UK takes around six hours to get here. And over here, you'll find a rich heritage of Portuguese, African, and of course, Creolian culture. And the best part is you don't need a visa if you're not planning to stay for more than three months. What have you The local language in Thail Island is Creole. And you pay using Cape Verdean escudos. But you can pay in euros as well, so no stress. Getting rid of stress starts with a good hotel. In Sal, Tui have a selection of hotels for you. My favorite, of course, being the Tui Blue Cabo Verde. Very close to Santa Maria, where you'll find lots of bars, restaurants to enjoy the local food, drink. It's even got the seven kilometer beach, which has attracted a large surfer community. Lots of sunshine, places to relax and just chill out. You're probably wondering why this island is called Sal. Sal means salt exactly what I'm going to show you now. These are the Salinas at Pedro de Lume. Let me show you around. This is why the island of Sal is called Sal, white gold. This was the main form of commerce during the 1800s and also a reason why the island got populated. But nowadays, people come here for a different reason. They come here to swim in the salt times, which is impossible to do because you just float. It's three times more saltier than the Dead Sea, and it's so good for your skin. It's also one of the main attractions of the island of Sao. Another place you definitely want to visit is Palmera. This is the port city of Sao, and it's famous for its colorful houses. The best time to visit Sal for the sunshine is from June to December. But if you're looking to come for waves and wind, the best months are from January through May. Water sport is one of the best activities on the island. And this is Kite Beach. One of the best beaches in the world for practicing of kite surfing. But also you can do kite foil, wind surfing, surfing. All the conditions are really amazing. If you're going for water sports, Kite Beach is a perfect spot. Laid back like us, you love our catamaran experience. In case you want to cool down, take a swim in the amazing and natural pools of Burakona. This is the blue eye. When the sunlight actually hits the cave here, it reveals a shimmering blue eye that you have to see while you're on the island. If you prefer a little bit more action, take our 4x4 tour. Our guide will be able to show you the mirage in Taraboa Desert. Or even better, take control yourself, get a quad or a beach buggy. You know, despite all the beautiful beaches and the rich sand dunes we have here on the island of Sal, we've got some amazing flora and fauna as well. The best place to see this, of course, would be the botanical gardens. This is the Tambrera, endemic tree of Cabo Verde. Wait a minute, isn't this a date tree? Yes, it is a date tree. Oh, I love putting dates in my cachupa, man. What? We never put dates in a cachupa. Let me explain what is a cachupa. A cachupa is made by corn, beans, vegetables, and everything you have at home. And like that, you will be able to make an amazing dish, very rich and very tasty. But today, we are having the catch of the day. Absolutely. So for this and so much more, please visit Sal. You won't regret it. Ciao. Ciao.